Dark Vikings. Type of villains war mongering Vikings. The Dark Vikings were intentionally made to appear to be culturally diverse in order to illustrate Nkino's tyranny has stretched far across the world. Despite this, it has never been shown just how far the Dark Vikings' empire has reached, but due to no maps of its territory being presented, However, the army consisting of Viking, Sami, Slavic and Asian warriors indirectly confirms that Kinos has influenced over parts of Europe and Asia alike. Furthermore, concept art for the second movie revealed that aside from the three known tribes, there were also supposed to be Inuit, Normans and Mongol soldiers serving in the Kinos army, suggesting an even larger empire. The Sami tribe members of the Dark Viking army are absent during Garen movie. The Hidden Empire, with the army only being composed of the Asian, Slavic and Viking soldiers. This may imply that the Sami tribe left the Dark Vikings following Sarhaki's defeat. If this is indeed what happened, it is unknown why Vagrimir, who is Sami himself, is still a general within the Dark Vikings, or why he is part of it at all. It might be possible that they are wearing darker clothing, being farther from colder or warmer regions of the archipelago or many different countries and cultures. The armor of Kino's tribe was inspired by Viking culture. The crest of the Dark Vikings is depicted as a demon or demonic entity with antlers. Somehow it has a sword running through the middle. Despite this, the Dark Vikings' ships have shown having different symbols on their sails. A possible explanation for this is that these might be crests of the different tribes comprising the Dark Vikings. The Dark Vikings serves as the overarching antagonistic faction of the franchise.